Hey everybody, this is uh, my first time experimenting with uh, etching my own circuit board. What we see here are uh, three different, well actually four different uh, kinds of ways of etch resist, uh, ways of putting etch resist on a copper sided circuit board. This is just uh, a fingernail polish and as you can see you can't get, or at least I couldn't get very fine detail with it. Um, what we have here is just the use of a Sharpie magic marker, or a Sharpie marker, permanent marker, and my hand drawing of some lines and circles. This down here was my attempt to use um, these uh, rub-on patterns, and they were really old from Radio Shack. I found them in an electronics store. They look like this, where you can cut out the different pieces. And I just cut out that section and tried to rub on that section, and I had no luck getting it on there, uh, trying to rub it on with the back of the spoon. What does look best, and actually turned out way better than I thought it would, was I made a little, or I brought up one of the example circuit drawings in Fritzing, the software package Fritzing, and uh, converted it to a single side instead of a double side. Um, PCB layout, printed that onto a waxy piece of paper uh, or a glossy piece of paper. Basically, I used the uh, the cover paper inside of some HP um, photo paper package, the, the thing that has all the information on it. It's kind of like a, a magazine cover. Um, and what I did is I put that in my printer, uh, exported from Fritzing the circuit board layout into uh, a production PDF, and then printed that out onto that piece of uh, shiny paper, and then taped that down to the board and set an iron on it on high temperature for quite a while and just let it sit there. And but I have a brother laser printer. Now this is not a laser jet. This is an actual laser printer. You've got to have something that has a normal laser printer toner in it because it has kind of a, a plastic the the toner is it has a plastic component into it which gets melted off of the paper onto the onto the copper. You can see this looks a little white and that's because uh, the paper is stuck to the toner um, so basically I ironed it on there I didn't pull the paper off I then soaked the entire board with the paper in water to get the paper to come away and then rubbed as much of it off as I could and it came out pretty clean again this is kinda maybe kinda hard to see on this camera I've got to get another camera but it came out far better than I thought with the exception of one trace up here on the end which which did not adhere because I wasn't careful the way I ironed it on there. So I'm going to try these different options and see, you know, what kind of results I get with the various ones. Um, and what I'm going to do here is in this Pyrex container, I'm going to put two parts hydrogen peroxide and one part muriatic acid. So just regular hydrogen peroxide. Um, that I picked up in Walgreens. It's 3%. And then here's the muriatic acid, which is basically hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid. Um, this I got at Lowe's. You can get a gallon of it for like seven bucks. So I'm going to put that in there and then uh, put that in the Pyrex dish. And then we'll put the circuit board in there and swish it around a little bit and see how long it takes to etch.